Okay, here we are again for the final installment of Project 3. Uh, we're going to create the final product where we take all four of our color compositions and put them on one page, kind of as a gallery of four different color compositions of our portrait. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create a new file. Our width this time is going to be 960 pixels by 1280, which I've already set up here. Resolution, I'm just going to change that back to 72, which is the standard usually when you start a file in, in uh, Photoshop. But we got a 960 pixels width by 1280 height. 72 resolution is fine. We're not printing anything. So let's go ahead and click Create. And there's our canvas and here's our background. Again, you can unlock the background by double clicking it if you need to. I don't really need to do anything to the background, but... I just like to unlock it just in case. Click OK. Um, and now what we've been doing, the easiest way we've gotten uh, photos into our document is to just, again, click on the folder where you have the photo stored. Uh, just drag it in. And there it is. Notice there it's sized it to 480 by 640. And since we are on... We have a file that is, oh, I have to hit enter first. Sorry about that. It's wanting to make it a smart object here. So just click enter. It's fine if it's a smart object because we're not doing anything with it right now. Um, so here, you notice there it's already sized. And our document itself is uh, 960 by 1280. The image itself is not. The image itself is 480 by 640. So now we can grab it and drag it into the corner. Now let's say, what if your snap isn't on and you're having trouble getting it to line up and you, it's frustrating. Well, if, if that bothers you having to do that, just go on to view. So go up to the view tab, click on it, click snap to turn on snap. And what that'll do is snap your image right to an edge or a corner, corner for you. So there, notice they're just snapped right into place with the guides. So that's an easy way to do it. So now we're going to grab our comp photo and we're going to drop it into our canvas. Again, same thing, hit enter. Now I can drag this to the top and it'll just snap right into place, no problem. Cool colors, drag it into the canvas, hit enter, snap, and then finally warm. Snap it into place. So right there, we've got all four of our images of ourselves onto one uh, document that's 960 by 1280 and now the last step it says on the assignment sheet to flatten the image and I'll show you why we do this um, because again if you have trouble exporting this this will help you do that so we're gonna take all these layers in your layer window and it's gonna scrunch them down to one layer so watch the layers window you know at this point when I go up to layer here I'm gonna click on the layer tab on the top of the screen I'm gonna choose flatten image on the bottom and watch the layers window when I do this. Notice there now we just have one layer. It's called background. Here I can unlock that. Or layer zero now. And that's the only layer we're dealing with. So that makes it easy. So now what we can do is like we did before. We can right click on the layer itself. Okay, and we're going to do a quick export. Well, we don't want a PNG, so don't do that. Do export as, if it says Quick export is PNG. Choose JPEG. Uh, quality, not good. We're going to do great. Click export. Then it'll ask you where you want to save it and what you want to name it. Obviously, this is going to be your final file. So you're going to name this 3 dash whatever your last name is. Okay, just so I avoid any confusion. I'm typing your last name here. <laughs> 3 dash your last name. JPEG is our file type. That's correct. And just you could save it right back into your color comps folder if you want. Click save. And then you should be done. So let me uh, minimize this. And if we go into our color comps folder, you should see the final project right there. Three dash your last name. And you should be able to view it in your photo viewer in your on your computer. There it is. So that's the file you'll be attaching to uh, an email via Canvas, the one that ha that's 960 by 1280 that has all four of your color comps.